Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jasmine Sounds, and in this video, I will show you how to make this plucked string harp sound in Vital. Check it out. It is fully velocity mapped. And it also doubles as a really cool bowed string pad. Before we get started, there are just a few things I'd like to get set up in Vital. First off, this is a very quiet sound, so I'm just going to turn the volume all the way up here. Next, moving into the Advanced tab, let's move this up 24 semitones to get it more in the range you'd hear for a harp. Finally, in the Effects tab, I'm just going to enable the multiband compressor straight away. I'll set the attack to 22% and the release to 75%. Now moving back to the main tab here, let's mute oscillator 1, enable the noise oscillator, and select box fan from the factory noise bank. I'm going to enable random phase for a little bit of variation and pitch it up two semitones. We're going to turn this noise into an impulse, so let's turn down the level here and set up a very fast envelope in envelope two. I'm going to turn the sustain all the way down and set the decay to 0 0.009 seconds. Now I'm going to drag this under the sample level, and when I press the key, we get this noise impulse. The string sound is created by this noise impulse running through a comb filter, which boosts the natural harmonics you'd hear in a string sound. Let's enable filter 1 and wrap the sample oscillator in. I'm going to set this to low high comb. I'm going to set this top blend bar to 0 0.124 and crank the resonance and key track all the way up. Now let's enable filter 2 and route in only filter 1. I'm going to make this a comb filter as well. Let's turn the resonance all the way up, the cut all the way down, and the key track all the way up. This filter just helps to shave off some of the highs and emphasize the character of our first comb filter. Moving on to the effects, I'm going to first set up a chorus here to soften the attack a bit. Four voices, depth all the way up, feedback to 11%, and I'm going to set the filter like this just to let the highs through. Now let's turn the mix back to around 20%. Next on the EQ, let's enable a low pass, and I'm going to set this to 67.52 semitones. I'm going to bump up this middle band here by 5.5 dB. Leave the cutoff where it is, and set the resonance to 5.87. For this high band, I'm going to drop it by 10 dB and set the cutoff to 97 semitones. Finally, I'm just going to set a basic reverb here. Take out some of the lows, bring the highs back a bit, turn off the chorus because we want this one to be more realistic, size down, time up a little bit, and mix to about here. That should be good. Now let's give it some velocity variants. The first thing I'm going to do is turn this velocity track knob all the way up. This is just a polyphonic velocity control, so lower velocity notes will be quieter, and higher velocity notes will be louder. Next I'm going to create a velocity macro up here, just to make things a bit easier for us to see. I'm going to drop it onto this high shelf gain and set it to 11.26. This will make lower velocity notes feel a little bit more muffled. Next, I'm going to drop this onto the envelope to decay and set it to 0 0.072. This increases the length of our noise impulse and makes the string feel like it's being plucked a bit harder. Finally, I'm just going to drop this onto the release of envelope 1 
and set it to 0 0.369. This will make our sound ring out for longer at higher velocities. Now just drag this velocity control down here onto our velocity macro, and now our preset is successfully velocity mapped. And that is our completed harp sound. Feel free to play around with some of the different noises in here for a different character. And if you want to get that really interesting bowed string pad sound I showed you earlier, all we have to do is create a macro here. I'm going to call it pad. And drag this onto our impulse. And just turn the attack way up. I'm going to set this to 0 0.5. And now if we crank this all the way up. we get this really interesting organic sounding pad. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the video and maybe learned something new. I'll see you next time. Take care.